Hey Sag, welcome to my channel. This is how does your she feels about me reading for you. I hope you're doing well, Sag. This reading is applicable for singles, couples, in a relationship, or dating. And this is for Sagittarius sign. Please universe, what can I get for Sagittarius friends? How does he or she feel about me reading for Sag? This is um, a no time frame, no timeline reading. This is for Sag. Sagittarius, how does your she feels about me reading for Sagittarius friends? You're ha you're having a full moon today, Sag. So it is really is gonna be powerful message for you. Um, for today's reading, I really did it today. I scheduled it today so that we could harness the freshest energy from this person that is significant to you. How does your she feels about me reading for Sag? Connect it with full moon and Sagittarius, please. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you have a jumper. Let's take that. Okay. All right. One of the strongest messages here, Sagittarius, is that they're unable to move on. They won't move on. They can't just leave you behind. All right. But let's dig into the reading. You've got here the Hermit card in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. How they feel about you right now is that they're coming out, all right? They're coming out of some sort of stagna stagna stagnation, blockages. Um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it could be in the past. They weren't really putting a lot of effort into you, into the connection, into the, into the reconnection, into the relationship. But that is coming out, you know, they're coming out of that um, avoidance. They're coming out of avoid. It, if they were avoiding you, not putting much effort and interest towards you, they're coming out of that. They are leaving that, um, that persona, that image. You know, I'm really seeing a person where they had a change of heart or it could be, you know, momentarily, I'm I'm really feeling like this person. They had some sort of a um, a blockage, just like a, some sort of some. Sometimes when people, when a person is upset to you, it's hurt. They're hurt towards what you say, what you what they did. They look at you like some sort of an evil or maleficent thing. <laughs> I'm sorry for the example, but you know, the, this person in the past had a picture of hate or pain or disappointment linked towards you when they think of you it's it's annoyance it's hurt or pain or argument or misunderstanding but they are passing through that images that images of you it's about to be clear you know it's they're they're going out of that you know there it's it's stage stage one stage two of being vengeful hurtful pain annoyance it, it's gone it's you're releasing that all right it's fading away so any sort of, um, like I'm I'm also picking up Sagittarius for you, acceptance. Like I've hurt you, you've hurt me, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect. So let's leave that behind. So that's the kind of release that this person is going through. Um, not just about themselves, but about you as well. If this is a, if this is a, a new person, because I felt like, you have so much history for some of you with the way I describe the reading. But if this is a person, a new person, a record, a, a person, a, new, a brand new person, they've just released something from their past. Something that they don't want to exert an effort with and direct their thoughts towards you. Something that they want to, you know, they want to concentrate towards you. Something about this person is releasing an image, a bad image of you, the relationship, or how they look at or view connection reconnection and romantic in the past something is clearing out with this person and you will f you know you know if, if if you're sticking around with this person Sag, this person is coming out as brand new like crystal clear clearing out because someone coming out of the hermit mode is someone that learned their lesson someone that went in went inside to learn what they need to apply outwardly so this is really good. So if you question this person why they haven't exerted an effort, why they haven't replied, why they haven't responded, why they were aloof, 
is because they need to be alone. They're coming out of that darkness. They're coming out of that. And a more energetic, a more um, responsive, a more a more normal person. Like, you know, when you ask someone, they reply. It's, um yeah, they're clearing out any sort of negativity that they felt towards you or doubt or fears, fears, fear that they that they have in mind when it comes to connecting, reconnecting, or love relationship. For some of you, I'm picking up this person has some sort of past. They have distorted past trauma. And they're clearing that out in order to let someone in, connect with someone brand new. It really is good because it's a self, self-healing that they did, self-understanding self-learning they did in order to come out as a new person and um yeah for some of you those connect those reconnection those are still together you know they can't just leave you behind you know they can't you know or this is a person a reconnection this is this is a person or a connection where they keep coming back two cards in here is saying they aren't able to move on they can't leave you behind. If they left you, this is something that they can't do. Emotions, you know. Eight of Cups, you have so much emotions and love and feelings that you've shared to them that they can't just leave you behind. They keep on reconnecting with you. But every time they reconnect with you, um, the reconnection isn't, isn't ready, you know. Every time they message you, during that time, it was more of, I need you. Um, and the first person that they come into mind is you and the source of that decision making, you know, to, to, to connect with you is because you've got this huge amount of feelings and shared memories in the past. So if they needed someone, if they think of someone to connect with, to share something, to share a photo with, to share a journey, to connect with the first thought is you. All right. But during that time, it laps it kind of one, two messages, one, two, three, strange, and they're gone. Because trying to figure out what they really is, their need, you know, what is the missing gap in order for them to connect continuously with you. All right. You've got a lot of um, history with this person that they can't just throw it away. For some of you, um, yeah, they gone, they gone internally, and um. They're still having this indecisiveness in terms of, like, this is a person where they try to find the right reason to stick around, you know. I'm really feeling like, for some of you, they're just lost. Lost in the sense that they feel you're the right person. They feel that you, in this relationship, and reconnection, it's what's good for them. It's like they try to connect with other people, but they can't find that connection. And they feel it. Although sometimes the feelings doesn't synchronize with the logic. Sometimes we feel, but we don't understand how to put it out in the world or to put it in context. So they're, they're at this point in that kind of process. They feel it, but they don't understand it yet. So they keep coming back. They keep connecting, reconnecting with you. But it, it doesn't flow continuously because they're still haven't been able to figure out and understand that it's it's as simple as this person they are acting they like you but they don't know this person is lost and acting like um they want someone but they've already found it so this is you know kind of connection reconnection and um you know the vibe i'm getting into the reading for some of you, you've got kids. For some of you, you've got really nice feelings with each other. You make each other happy. And um, right now, it's just night of wands. You know, it's really is um, like maturity. For some of you, I'm really picking up. If there's things to sort out, it's because the relationship need to mature. When I say um, maturity, it's you're both at right age. You know, you're both mature, but the relationship need to mature the relationship needs to grow because people disconnect people detach because nothing is happening so this is the knight of wands along with the sun card the reason why this is happening is because you need to grow this relationship you need to mature as you need to let this 
uh, relationship mature bloom all right and when it comes to maturity or growing comes um challenges and um, glitches miscommunication and argument but that's you know that's the thing in the past that they're trying to sort out clear cleaning cleaning clearing out so yep they're still around you they won't just go away in your life especially for those people who have kids who have ex-partner in here um past people past person if this is a brand new person a new person there's something with this person that they need to clean out you know they're cleaning it out 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 cleaning so that they could present something brand new something new to them all right healing i just saw healing in the they're healing um i just saw that in the um, in my video thing here so yep so this is for you sag it's really is powerful i think it the message will cater for 80 to 90 percent of you guys and um if you like the reading if you connected with the reading please don't forget to click like don't forget to click subscribe and join my team if you want to further connect with me the details of my instagram my facebook account resources about astrology updates which is really helpful in an everyday basis for you guys check the website check the video any sort of how to book with me is down below in the description box Again, guys, it's been a pleasure doing this to you. I hope you have a wonderful day, a fabulous full moon, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.